Joseph Murphy was a great manifestation teacher. He taught us many techniques to manifest our desired reality. Most of his techniques involved doing visualizations or reprogramming the subconscious mind. But what if I told you that there is a secret technique of Joseph Murphy that involves only two words, and repeating only these two words can help you manifest your desire almost instantly? Today I am excited to share with you an incredibly simple, yet tremendously powerful method that can transform your life forever. Believe it or not, this technique revolves around two simple words that will blow your mind away. So watch this video till the end, and if you are new to our channel, subscribe to it and press the bell icon for more content on manifestation. So let's get started. In his book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, Joseph Murphy emphasizes the importance of having a thankful heart as it brings us closer to the creative forces of the universe. It creates a reciprocal relationship with the universe, as being grateful attracts countless blessings in return, based on the law of action and reaction. The two words that I'm going to share with you are thank you. Joseph Murphy says that by becoming thankful, we attract whatever we want into our lives, and we can manifest everything if we have a grateful heart. To illustrate this concept, let's imagine a father who promised his son a car upon his graduation. Although the boy has yet to receive the car, he is thankful and joyful, knowing his father will fulfill his promise. He is already living in a state of gratitude for what he knows will come to him. Mr. Broke is another example that Murphy shares in his book, demonstrating the effectiveness of the thank you technique. This man was struggling to make ends meet, with bills piling up and no job prospects in sight. He had three kids to feed and he was at his wit's end. That was until he tried this technique for three weeks, every morning and evening, where he repeated the words, Thank you, Father, for my will, in a relaxed and peaceful manner, until the feeling of gratitude dominated his mind. Despite his current circumstances, Mr. Broke used his inner eye of spiritual perception to envision himself addressing the infinite power and intelligence within him. He realized that the thought image of wealth was the first cause relative to money, and his thought feeling was the substance of wealth unrestricted by what was happening in his life. By repeating the words, Thank you, Father, and keeping a thankful attitude, Mr. Broke reconditioned his mind to the idea of wealth. Eventually, he ran into a former employee on the street whom he hadn't seen in 20 years, and he was offered a lucrative position as the vice president of the company, complete with a $500 advance. So what can you do if you are in a similar situation, struggling to make ends meet, or looking for a job? The first step is to deny your senses and not focus on what you see externally, such as the amount of money you have in your bank account or wallet. Instead, realize that the treasure house is within you, and wealth is within you. Therefore, every morning and evening, relax and repeat the words, Thank you, Father, Thank you, God, or Thank you, Universe, until the feeling of gratitude dominates your mind. If any doubt or fear creeps in, repeat it again and again until your heart is filled with thankfulness. By doing so, you will recondition your mind to the idea of wealth, attracting more money and blessings into your life based on the law of action and reaction. Remember you get what you believe in, so be like the son who was promised a car for graduation and have an attitude of gratitude, knowing that what you desire is already yours. Becoming grateful is one of the key teachings of Joseph Murphy. He taught us that practicing gratitude could help us attract more positivity and abundance into our lives. Gratitude is the act of acknowledging and appreciating the blessings in our lives. It is about recognizing the good that we have and expressing our thanks for it. When we focus on what we are thankful for, we shift our attention away from what we lack and towards abundance. This shift in perspective can have a profound impact on our lives, helping us to attract more of what we desire. According to Murphy, the practice of gratitude is closely linked to the law of attraction. The law of attraction states that we attract into our lives whatever we focus on, whether positive or negative. By focusing on gratitude, we are sending a positive signal to the universe that we are open to receiving more blessings in our lives. Murphy believed that gratitude could help us manifest our desires in several ways. Firstly, when we are grateful for what we already have, we create a positive mindset that attracts more positivity into our lives. Our thoughts and emotions are like magnets, and they attract more of what we focus on. When we focus on gratitude, we attract more blessings into our lives. Secondly, gratitude helps to increase our vibrational frequency. Everything in the universe vibrates at a certain frequency, and our thoughts and emotions have their unique vibrational frequency. When we are in a state of gratitude, 
our vibrational frequency is raised, which makes us more receptive to positive experiences and opportunities. Gratitude helps us align with our desires. When we are grateful for what we already have, we are in a state of abundance, which makes it easier to attract more abundance into our lives. This alignment with our desires is essential for manifesting our goals and dreams. In his book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, Murphy wrote, Gratitude is the law of increase, and complaint is the law of decrease. To be grateful is to recognize the infinite good in all things. With gratitude, you bring to yourself a boundless supply of whatever is needed for your most cherished goals. This quote emphasizes the power of gratitude to attract abundance and increase our blessings. When we focus on gratitude, we create a positive energy that attracts more positivity into our lives. Conversely, when we complain or focus on lack, we create negative energy that repels abundance. The practice of gratitude can be challenging for some people, especially those who are going through difficult times. However, Murphy believed that gratitude is not just reserved for times of abundance. It is equally important during times of scarcity. He taught us that gratitude is a powerful tool for shifting our mindset and attracting more abundance into our lives. Let's now discuss the ways you can express your gratitude. First, keep a gratitude journal. Gratitude is a powerful emotion that can bring about positive changes in our lives. Keeping a gratitude journal is a simple yet effective way to cultivate gratitude in our daily lives. The idea behind a gratitude journal is to take a few minutes each day to reflect on the good things in our lives. This can be as simple as writing down three things that we are grateful for. These things can be big or small, material or non-material. What matters is that we focus on the positive aspects of our lives. By doing this consistently, we can train our minds to look for the good things in our lives. This can help us develop a more positive outlook and attract more positive experiences. When we focus on gratitude, we are more likely to notice the blessings that are already present in our lives. This, in turn, can create a virtuous cycle of positivity and abundance. In addition to the psychological benefits, there are also physical benefits to practicing gratitude. Research has shown that people who practice gratitude regularly experience lower levels of stress and greater levels of well-being. You can also use affirmations to express gratitude. Affirmations are positive statements that you repeat to yourself to reinforce positive beliefs and attitudes. For example, you might say, I am grateful for all the abundance in my life, or I am grateful for the opportunities that come my way. When you use affirmations, you are sending a powerful message to your subconscious mind, which can help you manifest your desires. Practicing mindfulness is another way to express thankfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of being present at the moment and paying attention to your thoughts and feelings without judgment. When you practice mindfulness, you can become more aware of the things in your life that you are grateful for. Take some time each day to sit quietly and focus on your breath. As you do this, ring to mind the things you are grateful for and allow yourself to feel a sense of appreciation for them. Expressing gratitude to others can also be a good way to express our gratitude. It is a powerful way to cultivate a sense of abundance and positivity in your life. When you thank someone for something they have done for you, you acknowledge the positive impact they have had on your life. This can create a ripple effect of positivity, as the person you thanked may feel more inclined to do kind things for others in the future. If you visualize your desires with gratitude then, it is also a way to express gratitude. Visualization is a technique that has been used for centuries to help people manifest their desires. The idea behind visualization is simple. By imagining yourself experiencing a desired outcome in vivid detail, you can bring that outcome into reality. However, when you combine visualization with gratitude, you can create a powerful tool for manifestation. When you visualize your desires with gratitude, you are not only creating a mental image of what you want, but you are also expressing gratitude for the abundance that already exists in your life. This can be a powerful way to shift your mindset from one of scarcity to one of abundance. To begin practicing visualization with gratitude, take some time each day to sit quietly and visualize yourself experiencing the things you desire. This could be a new job, a loving relationship, financial abundance, or anything else that you want in your life. As you do this, try to imagine every detail of the experience as vividly as possible. See yourself in the new job, feel the love in the relationship, or experience the financial abundance that you desire. As you visualize, try to cultivate a sense of gratitude for the abundance that already exists in your life. This could be anything from your health to your family, your home, or your job. 
By focusing on what you already have and expressing gratitude for it, you can attract more abundance into your life. Murphy believed that gratitude is a fundamental part of living a fulfilling and abundant life, and he taught that by focusing on gratitude, we could attract more of what we desire and align with our goals and dreams. But according to Murphy, gratitude is more than just saying thank you when someone does something for us. It is a mindset and a way of life that requires us to appreciate everything around us, including the good and the bad. He believed that gratitude is a powerful force that can transform our lives and bring us closer to our goals. One of how gratitude can help us is by shifting our focus from what we lack to what we have. When we focus on what we don't have, we create a sense of lack and scarcity in our minds, which can make us feel unhappy and unfulfilled. On the other hand, when we focus on what we do have and appreciate it, we create a sense of abundance and contentment. Moreover, Murphy believed that by expressing gratitude, we send out positive vibrations into the universe, which can attract more positive things into our lives. He taught that when we express gratitude for the things we have, we open ourselves up to receiving even more blessings. In addition, gratitude can help us cultivate a positive mindset and reduce negative thoughts and emotions. When we are grateful, we tend to focus on the good in our lives, which can make us feel happier and more optimistic. This positive mindset can help us overcome obstacles and achieve our goals. I hope I was able to deliver a good analysis of this idea by Joseph Murphy. And of course, this doesn't mean we agree with every single thing he said or believed in, because in the end, everyone will form his or her own opinion, and that is why we are analyzing and discussing his ideas and methods to fully understand his approach and general ideas, as he was a great teacher and inspired millions of people around the world. If you want to share your opinion, comment down below this video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it and press the bell icon for more interesting, informative, and helpful videos on manifestation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.